Are you talking about in 47 um, the initial impact of switching to an agricultural diet, which in fact the archaeological record shows stunted us, and you know, we actually did rather badly from a health point of view making this early move. Is this the point you're raising here? Exactly. Um, there is a lot of admittedly indirect evidence that when this switch occurred and we became agricultural, that this had a very significant impact on our basic biology, our functional biology, especially we became shorter. Um, we, we went from being you know, beautifully athletic in many cases to being rather stunted and awkward. And this isn't only a question of ancient fossils. It's also stuff that can be visibly seen and documented when indigenous populations that have undergather ancestry switch to agricultural foods. My personal feeling about what happens to uh, First Nation Canadians is that <clears throat> it's almost the second round of genocide, yes. what we do to them, when they start to adopt Western diets and Western patterns of inertia and inactivity, that this is a, a health apocalypse for them. Yeah. Um, and and uh, it's been remarkable. We've, there's been studies showing, you know, Maasai living a traditional life and then you know, a family would move to Mombasa or, and uh, within 15 years fall into the health parameters of other urban, uh, other urban people. Very, very, very quick failure uh, in response to the modern, the modern world. And I think our, our uh, inspiration here would be Stefan Lindeberg's book, Food and Western Disease, yes. which supplies a complete treasure trove of data yes. indicating this.